Welcome everybody, and this is going to be the map Fathom, and we are going to break this map and take a little look on the outside of this map. So, this is just uh, general settings. Um, I think I have thruster pack set to 400%, as you can see here. I go crazy far. Um, jump height 200%. Uh, gravity is about um, 30%, I believe I had it at. I'll show you the exact settings when we're done here. But to break this map, as you can see here, this here is the red vat area. And over here is where you want to go. I'm going to try to jump up here. Hopefully it'll go pretty easily for me. Kind of do some thruster pack in here in this little corner. Turn around. You see this blue area right here? We're going to jump and try to get out. Keep thruster packing and jumping. And there we are. We are outside of the map Fathom. I'll take a look right there. Check that out. That's not Timmy. I'm going to call him Fred. Fred the greeny fishy finger. Uh, where's, there's Timmy. There's Timmy right there. That's what everybody's calling him. And there's Fred Jr. <laughs> well here it is it's pretty it's pretty cool you got this whole entire map area now this I wanted to bring up uh, for forgers I wanted you guys to check this out because imagine being coming out here and it's gonna be a lot easier to get outside the map once we do have forge but being able to come out here and setting up yourself a actual underwater map that you can actually see uh, overall the the view range is pretty far and I'm going to show you here, but um, there's not really a kill barrier uh, other than gravity uh, that's affecting you. I don't know if I can make it back to the map or not, but and there is a kill barrier that is directly under the map because you are able to fall down below the map. But just imagine, guys, if you're wanting to do some forging and you wanted an underwater map, there it is. You can easily, easily make an underwater map now in Halo 5. Now, unfortunately, we do not have Forge yet. That's gonna be coming um, in hopefully mid-December. Um, they're, they're doing some, re some really cool things uh, with it, so I can't wait to get my hands on it. As you see here, it's, it's really not that hard to get outside the map fathom. But just think, if you made a map, there's Timmy. That is the big Timmy right there. If you made a map and you incorporated the direct swim paths of these and you put like glass or whatever else, and you can have yourself an, a really large aquarium. Um, that'd just be really cool. Uh, at least I would think so. That's kind of what I'm thinking while I'm seeing this or a really cool infection or something like that. But there it is. That's how you break the map fathom. I'll show you the settings here in a second, and due to the magic of editing, we're going to go right to that. And here we are on the game settings. I'm going to show you exactly what I have, what I went with. I'm going to go down to player traits, go into that. Um, don't need any of that business there, melee, grenades, just, it's a little ways down. Uh, thruster pack. It said thruster pack on, speed 400%, recharge duration 10%, uh, recharge delay 10%, and activation cost is zero. Then scroll all the way down here to jump. <clears throat> Alright, jump height 200%, and clamber speed 100%, don't need that, and jump gravity 30%. And you could even play around with that at, say, at that point too, but there you go. You have those settings, make up your own uh, map breaker uh, setting or game type and you can go into Fathom and go explore and have a little fun. So thank you for watching guys, this is the Cray Spartan, I am out of here.